Hey guys, my name's Oscar Mikey and I'm pleased to be partnered with Modern Wolf and Cabo Studio to bring you this overview on patch 0.40 for Zero Seabird. Let's get right into it. First off, we need to address the fancy new armor. They go from tier 1 to tier 5 like they always have, but now the higher they go, NPCs will carry more and more lethal weapons and higher value loot, and also the visuals of the armor are going to change. This makes the difficulty of enemies more visually discernible so you can adjust your combat strategy based on each situation. Also, when you kill enemies now, you'll be able to loot their armors because the armor drop option is now toggled on by default for all difficulty settings. But don't worry, if you want to do your own hardcore runs, you can still turn it off in the settings. Next up, emissions. They've been reworked a little bit. When emissions are in progress now, the dangerous waves that sweep over the area will be telegraphed with a slow kind of wind-up sound cue. The waves are also going to be spaced further apart than before, making it actually viable for you to move around the map during an emission. This next one is very exciting and definitely one of the biggest changes to the game overall. There's been a massive rework to the weapon balancing and behavior. Every weapon now has an effective range where it's most lethal. This is how it works. When you land hits on enemies now, you'll see one of four visual indicators that tell you what type of damage you're doing to the target. And there are two kind of main types of damage, glancing and full. A white silhouette means a full hit, full flesh damage. A white outline means full hit to armor, no flesh damage. A red silhouette means a glancing hit, penetrated armor, half damage. And a red outline means a glancing hit, blocked by armor, no damage. Your crosshair is going to be the main visual indicator of your weapon's effectiveness too. Move the crosshair too far and it'll turn into a red X, meaning at this range all hits will deal no damage. When the crosshair is red or pink, that means you're more likely to land glancing hits, but you can increase your chances of getting a full hit by putting your cursor directly over the target. And when it's white, you're aiming within your weapon's sweet spot range where it's most effective, and you're most likely to land full hits. This has been done to encourage players to be a little bit more deliberate with their loadouts and use weapons for their intended purposes. There's also been a small change to weapon modding. Mods will now affect weapon stats by a flat amount instead of a percentage. This makes it a little bit easier to tell how mods will change a weapon's performance. There's also a new recoil system. The crosshair will now slowly drift away from your character as you fire, negatively affecting your accuracy. But you can counter this by pulling back in, kind of similar to a lot of other shooters. A handful of awesome new weapons have been added to the game too. We've got the SVT-40, the AVT-40, the Scop l the Grusa-1, the Grusa-4, and the SHA-12. I'm not going to go over them in detail, some of these guns you guys might recognize. I'm going to leave it up to you guys to find them in-game and play around with them a little bit. The next big update is AI. This kind of ties in with the weapon rebalancing because enemies will now engage you differently according to their loadouts. Enemies with assault rifles will try and keep you at arm's length to get the most out of their guns, while submachine gun enemies will push you aggressively. There's also been changes to line of sight, flanking, and enemy response. Enemies will remember your last known position now and either push it to investigate or try to pull a flank and get you from another angle. You can do this to them too and catch them off guard. The further away you are and the greater the angle of approach, the longer it'll take them to spot you when line of sight is reestablished. And the last feature we'll be talking about today is, of course, the addition of grenades. This has been a long time coming, and I'm personally really excited about this one. There are four different grenades in the game now. The RGD-5 and the T1 grenades are frags. They do the same damage, but the T1 has a slightly wider blast radius. The SGN is an impact grenade, which will explode as soon as it hits the ground. And then there's the flashbang. This does exactly what you'd expect. It temporarily blinds enemies, giving you time to move in and clear them out safely. And there's one more little explosive toy that's been added too. It's a landmine, great for setting traps for unsuspecting enemies. I want to give a big thank you to Modern Wolf and Cabo Studio for partnering with me on this video. All of their social media links will be in the description as well as a link to their community discord. Thank you so much for watching guys. My name's Oscar Mikey. Good luck out there everybody and I'll talk to you in the next one.